Hey, it's Mark Greengrow. Today we're talking about terpenes. What are they? Why are they needed? Why do people always talk about terps? What does that even mean? So terpenes are basically just a language for plants and other animals and biology to speak, okay? That's what they're intended to be. Terpenes can help attract things like pollinators, bees, birds. It can also help attract beneficial insects to it, to help it. It can also attract microbes. Terpenes are basically like biochemical signatures where it's actually a language where they're throwing a terpene out and certain microbes can understand that language and go, oh, you're telling me you need more phosphorus. Oh, you're telling me that you need some help fending off some insects or you need some more water. Think of terpenes as a language the natural world uses because they can't understand every different language. They use a chemical language so they can understand each other. Okay, so terpenes smell really good and sometimes, sometimes they don't smell very good at all. There's an odor and there's a nose to it. There's a biochemical piece to it. Terpenes can be used for so many great things. A lot of times we see underneath the soil that the more concentration of microbes you have in your soil, the higher content of terpenes your plant's gonna exude. So why that's important for you, if you happen to be growing something like cannabis, if you have a dead environment with no life, your terpenes are gonna be lower on your plant. Just makes sense, okay? Because the plant's not communicating with anything. The higher the microbial count in your soil, the higher your terpenes are gonna be. We recommend using green aminos, bricks, our flower finisher, and green grow mycorrhiza to help improve the soil quality, improve the microbial content of the soil. And I would lastly say to use Earthshine. Earthshine is so packed full of diverse microbes from the fermentation process, and that's gonna directly correlate to your plant's ability to communicate with the microbes that are growing in your soil. Most of our customers are seeing terpene results as high as 5% on the scale. To give you an example, most of the cannabis grown and sold at dispensaries has 1.6 to 2% terpenes. So we're getting more than double and sometimes triple the terpene amounts, not by any magic. It's literally by the fact that we have more microbes per square cubic inch in the soil, which then communicates to the plant. The plant puts out more terpenes to finish communicating with the larger mass population of the microbes. So very simple. I just want to talk about that today. If you have any questions, please DM me. I will answer them. Thanks.